Hey John, this is Larry Powell, Circle P Marketing. Uh, I just wanted to send over this quick screencast, um, kind of detailing how you guys could get some more um, search volume headed towards your guys' website and kind of what your competition is doing and how you can capture more of these clicks to, to head it to you guys, um, turning into potential clients. Um, so looking at your guys' website, I do really like it. Um, it's a well-built site. A um, couple things I would recommend um, is putting your contact form um, farther up on this home page. Um, I know you have the link to it here, but actually putting a link or, you know, your actual contact form on this home page will really help you guys out just because people are looking for the path of least resistance. So the easiest or the easier you can make it for people to be entering in their information to get a hold of you guys, the better. Um, I do really like that you guys have your click to call buttons on here. Um, oftentimes people are doing mobile searches these days. And so for people to be able to get you guys right on the phone, just being able to click on that is fantastic. Um, last thing I wanted to talk about for your guys' website is content. Um, Google recently did a study where they tallied up over a million different websites um, and looking at all the top rank websites across multiple niches, they found that at least um, 1,500 to 2,000 words of content um, is advised for this homepage. Um, so beefing up that content, I definitely think would help you guys out as far as your organic rankings and moving up into the into the you know that top spot. Um, looking at this tool I have is called Arefs. Um, this is a really cool tool. It allows me to look at search volumes and kind of what websites are doing on the back end. Um, so for roofing San Antonio, there's currently 600 searches per month. Um, so what that means is if you were in that top spot for roofing San Antonio, um, the rule of thumb we kind of go by, and you can get this information anywhere on the web, is about 33% of all clicks go to that number one spot. So you'd be figuring about 200 searches per month um, just for ranking in the top spot for one keyword going to your guys' website if you guys were in that spot. Um, so looking at roofing San Antonio, um, there's a couple things we look at here. So this is all Google paid ads. Um, people are paying to be in this box. Um, doesn't really have a lot of benefit to it. Um, you know, being being ranked in this top three and organically is just as valuable as paying Google to be in this top spot up here. Oftentimes, this is actually more valuable to be in these spots down here. Um, you guys are currently sitting at 27th um, for roofing San Antonio. So definitely a lot of room for improvement there when it comes to getting into that top spot. Um, you're sitting at 27th right there. Um, and this is all organic rankings, and we'll kind of dive into that here in just a few as far as how you can move up in those organic rankings. Um, the Google My Business is also very valuable territory to have your business in. Again, because people are doing so much with mobile search, as people are searching for these businesses, having your business in the tops in one of these top three to where people are able to click to call you guys very easily um, is very valuable for your business. And you guys are currently sitting at 33rd right now. Um, how you improve your rankings for your Google My Business or the Maps Pack um, is you guys, it's actually a, a factor or a, a multitude of different factors. So you have your organic rankings. There you guys are right there. Um, you have your organic rankings. So where your website's ranking in here, um, you have what's called citations, which is your, your name, address, phone number out on the web. So that'd be your business name, the address, and that phone number. Um, the different citation sources you have out there. Um, so you're looking to get as many of those up on the web as you can. And those are simple directory sites like Yellow Book, Yelp. Um, those all count as citations. And then the last thing is your um, your GMB description. So looking at your guys' GMB, um, you guys do have a you know a nice description in here, but you don't really include any of the keywords um, that would really help you guys when it comes to ranking. So putting Roofing San Antonio into this description would really help you guys out because it tells Google the keywords that you guys want to rank for. Um, so including that in your description would really help you guys out. Um, so looking at you know how you guys are ranking wise, um, we're going to go back over to Arefs. Um, and this tool allows me to look at what's called backlinks and referring domains. Um, a backlink, the best way to describe it is it's kind of like a high school popularity contest. So let's say the most popular kid in school, site A, says the least popular kid in school, site B, is popular now. And he puts a link to himself he links himself to that least popular kid. In turn, it's going to bring up some of what we call the trust flow or the domain authority of that least popular kid. And in Google's eyes, that's really good. And it helps bring up the rankings of that least popular kid. So what you're looking for on these is do follow, which means you're going to be getting some of that backlink juice we call coming from the most, the most popular kid to the least popular kid. Um, so you guys currently have nine do follow domains and 48 do follow backlinks. So looking at your guys' competition, um, Stevens Roofing is the top ranked for 
um, roofing in San Antonio. Um, you know, their site, they do have a fair bit of content on here, but still not anything that's not surpassable. Um, very easy to get more content than they have up there. Your guys' site definitely looks better than what they have going on. So I'm very confident that if you guys were to get into that top spot, you guys would definitely convert even better than what they're already doing. Um, looking at the back end of what Stevens Roofing is doing, uh, they have 754 backlinks from 160 referring domains. Um, 122 of those referring domains are actually do follow. Um, so they are just, they're getting more of those do follow links out there, which is definitely helping them out with the rankings. So the last thing I wanted to show you guys really quick is back to the citations. Um, I have another tool I use called WhiteSpark. Um, and this allows me to look at citation sources each company has out on the web. Um, so Rollins Roofing is the top ranked in the GMB or the map pack there. Um, they currently have 54 citation sources out there while you guys only have 17. Um, so beefing up those citations, getting more of those out there would definitely help you guys out. Um, hope you guys gained something from this. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thank you.